Hi friends, Professor Joe here. I hope you all are doing great. Now I have over 10 years of trading experience, especially in the Forex markets. I have possibly done all the mistakes that a trader can do in the Forex market. But I have learned from all those mistakes and I have become a successful trader in the Forex market. All the videos that I'm creating is out of my own experience and learnings from the markets. In this video, we are going to cover the two best bearish candlestick pattern. So let us see how to identify them and how to use them while trading in the Forex markets. In fact, candlestick patterns can be used not only in the Forex market, but also in the stock markets, crypto markets, anywhere where candlesticks are used. So like you can see, there are multiple bearish candlestick patterns like the shooting star, hanging man, gravestone doji, and bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. And there are many more. But we are going to focus in this video only on two of the most important bearish candlestick patterns. That is the shooting star and the bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. So let us see how to identify these candlesticks. That is number one. And number two, in what location of the chart when you see these candlesticks is a perfect entry point for you. Like you can see, the shooting star. Number one, the body of the candle is very small and it should be seen on the lower side of the candle. Second, the candle will have a long tail or a wick or a shadow, whatever you want to call it. It will be three times, four times, five times, maybe six times the size of its body. It might also have a small wick on the lower end of the body too. Sometimes a small wick, sometimes there will be no wick. When you see this kind of candle on top of the chart, that is when this candle is called a shooting star candle. Now let us see when you should trigger a trade when you see a shooting star candle. Like you can see on the chart, number one, the price is moving in a downtrend. It breaks a critical support area and then the price retraces back to that support area to become the new resistance area. When such an area is created, this is called as a resistance zone. And in that particular resistance zone, when you find a wonderful shooting star, that is the perfect entry point for a sell trade. This is how you are supposed to use a shooting star candle at a resistance zone in a good downtrend. You can support it with stochastics if it is in an overbought position and RSI if it is in an overbought position. These are some of the things that can be helpful to make sure that your trade is in the right direction. The next important bearish candlestick pattern is the bearish engulfing pattern. Now, when the market is in a downtrend, there will be a retracement. After the retracement, same at a good resistance zone, if you see a good bearish candle, which is engulfing not only one, maybe two, three bullish candles, then that is a strong bearish engulfing candle. A bearish engulfing candle will have a big body and small tail. Sometimes the tail can be long, but it will be seen on the upper side of the body. That means the candle is more towards the bearish side. So now let us see where you should locate this particular candlestick to enter into a sell trade. Like you can see on the chart, the previous part of the chart I have removed so that you can see uh, the result of the candlestick. So first it should be a downtrend. Second, a critical support area is broken. Third, the market or the price is retracing back to the earlier support area to become a new resistance area. And in this particular resistance area, when you see a bearish engulfing candlestick, it's a perfect entry point for a sell trade. You can support it with stochastic and RSI if they are on the overbought position. This will be a great confluence for a sell trade. 
So like you have seen, it is very, very simple to trade if you know the basics. You just look for wonderful candlestick patterns when you are looking for a sell trade. Number one is a trend. Number two, break of support. Number three, pull back to the resistance zone. Number four, a wonderful candlestick. It can be a shooting star candle or it can be a bearish engulfing candle. Supported with RSI and stochastic in an overbought zone. It's a perfect entry point for a sell trade. Nothing can beat this combination. Now remember, there is no strategy that will give you 100% result. That is why risk management plays a very, very important role in trading. So whenever you are trading, make sure not to risk more than 1% or 2% in one particular trade. There are a lot of traders who trade with 0.5% risk in each trade, even better. Expecting too much out of the markets is not very good because a lot of times there might be negative trades. So you should be able to withstand those negative trades. So if you risk less, you will remain in the market for a longer period to see big profits in the markets. Finally, intraday trading, swing trading or even long term trading is a matter of practice. The more you practice, the better you will get at it. For new traders and confused traders, I have written a book, Traders You Can Win But First Learn to Lose. This is a wonderful book for starters. Basics of trading has been explained in this book, right from candlestick pattern, chart patterns, moving averages, Fibonacci retracements, oscillators, and many other things. I have also explained two trading strategies in detail in this book. So if you are interested, you can find it on Amazon in Kindle. If you love the content that I am creating, please like and share these videos so that people who are learning to trade or confused midway while learning to trade can get clarity on how to trade in a very, very simple way. And for more such updates on trading, finance, banking, investment banking, kindly subscribe to my channel. All I can say is keep learning, keep growing. Thank you. Namaskar.